Hey, what's up everyone? Richard here, and welcome to the 32nd episode in my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. Today we take a look at the rifle that dared to be different, ushering in a new era of rifle design, the UAR. The UAR, or Universal Army Rifle, is based on the Steyr AUG, considered to be the first practical bullpup assault rifle. The in-game depiction is likely an ARX-2, an American licensed version of the Steyr design. The AUG, like many other Western assault rifles, chambers the 5.56 by 45mm NATO round, giving it excellent ballistic performance over variable distances. While the AUG has not been adopted by superpowers such as the United States, its influence is monumental, inspiring future bullpup rifles such as the French FAMAS and the Israeli Tavor. In game, the UAR is in the same damage tier as the CAR 4 and AK rifles with a higher rate of fire and less total ammo to differentiate. Base damage is high compared to other rifles in its class, coming in at a base rating of 28. This lends the UAR to be very effective for newer players who will have little or no modifications for their weapons. Once upgraded, damage can easily surpass the 40 damage threshold, meaning you can kill maximum force responders with a pair of headshots. This also lets you quickly run through special enemies such as tasers and cloakers without much issue. Rate of fire is high as well, especially compared to the UAR's competitors, coming in at a lethal 750 rounds per minute. While the CAR-4 and UAR will share similar damage and handling, the UAR's rate of fire will be 25% faster. The high cyclic rate boasted by the UAR makes it extremely effective at clearing rooms. While a high fire rate would normally lend it to being effective at hip firing, it has a severe accuracy penalty when firing while not aiming. Base stability, however, comes in at a low 12, making the weapon somewhat tricky to handle without modification. This is only made worse by the high fire rate of the UAR, causing your barrel to climb much quicker than any other rifle. However, stability can be easily maxed out once fully modded, and Sharpshooter Ace can also make a fair difference in the amount of recoil the UAR has. Still, it's best to resort to burst or single firing when engaging distant opponents in order to preserve accuracy. Somewhat making up for its low base stability, accuracy comes in at a very usable 14. While at long distances this can still cause you to miss, this is more than enough for most practical engagements. Once the rifle is fully modded, accuracy can be maxed out, making it just as effective as any other rifle in its class. Unfortunately, the UAR is severely punished when firing on the move and firing from the hip. Stationary hip firing will have your cone of fire multiplied by a massive 8.75x. Mobile hip firing will add a 12.25x multiplier, and moving while aiming will triple the size of your cone of fire. Magazine size is nothing special for the assault rifles, coming in at a respectable 30. Unfortunately, this weapon cannot accept any magazine modifications. However, overall ammo capacity can be boosted by using the Mag Plus skill. While you may not have the bottomless mags that other assault rifles have access to, you will be able to quickly reload them. The UAR in fact has some of the quickest reloads in game, with tactical reloads taking 2.5 seconds and full rechamberings taking 3.3. Even without Kilmer, these times are plenty quick enough for most engagements, so if you despise long reloads, the UAR might be a good choice. Total ammo comes in at 120 rounds, granting you 4 full magazines in total. While this may be 30 rounds less than the AK and CAR 4, you still should have no issue keeping your ammo supply full. Fully loaded can be helpful when ammo bags are in short supply, or your crewmates use up all the ammo pickups, adding 30 additional rounds to your total ammo supply. While the UAR is quite effective out of the box, it severely lacks in stability, as well as having some deficits in damage and accuracy. We will be modifying it to fix these issues. Our barrel choice should be fairly obvious, the long barrel will increase accuracy, damage, and stability at the cost of concealment. For our muzzle break, the competitor's compensator will grant us a similar buff to the long barrel, making our weapon much more easy to control. For the best performance, it's smart to leave the UAR on select fire, as the ability to switch between single and full auto can be invaluable. Next up, the A3 handguard will be another obvious choice, increasing both damage and stability for the UAR. 
Our gadget choice will be equally obvious. The LED combo will grant us the greatest buff to stability, as well as giving us the useful laser and light combo. With the new addition of the Butcher mod pack, the UAR gained the Raptor Polymer Body, increasing damage, accuracy, and stability by significant numbers, making the UAR much more competitive. Finally, optical attachments, as per usual, are up to the user. Since the UAR can maintain good accuracy, a long range optic is not a bad choice on the larger maps. The UAR, like many other rifles, lends itself to a multitude of playstyles. However, a few skills can universally improve the weapon's effectiveness, regardless of role. Both Rifleman and Sharpshooter will improve general handling with the rifle, and those in the Mastermind tree would be wise to invest in Leadership Aced and Kilmer Basic. Finally, Fully Loaded can be very helpful as well for longer missions. With all skills and modifications tallied, the UAR becomes immensely more stable, as well as having significant improvements to accuracy and damage. Total ammo also is increased for those using the fully loaded skill. The UAR is a very effective alternative to those who are tired of using the CAR-4, providing a higher fire rate and similar damage to make it much more effective at close ranges. However, the UAR suffers from a very steep hipfire and mobile shooting penalty, making it ineffective in offensive maneuvers. Still, the UAR is still an excellent choice for anyone looking for a rifle with a high DPS. While this bullpup rifle may not be perfect, your enemies will soon find its bark is just as mean as its bite. Thank you very much for watching. My name as always is Richard, and until next time, farewell.